Well, welcome to 2023 and a happy, happy new year. I want to wish you the best there can be for this new year of 2023. And today I thought it very appropriate to do a little object lesson here to illustrate mindset. And to talk about mindset here and the right mindset you want to have looking ahead at 2023, I've got here in front of me two glasses of water. Now, these might look like two identical glasses of water, but they're really two totally different glasses of water. One is half full and one is half empty. Can you tell the difference? I know it's pretty difficult. They, they both look about the same. The half full, half empty, you know, you're free to make comments below and let me know which one you think is which. Uh, but really, it's a matter of your perspective. You know, I'm often asked, what's better, half full or half empty? And the answer I'd like to give is it depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to empty the glass, then you're halfway there if it's half empty. If it's half full, you've got a long way to go. If your goal is to fill the glass and you're halfway there, then, then it's half full and you're making progress. So it really depends on what your goal is. But you want to think half full, half empty. Which one am I? Well, I want to look at it a different way. Instead of thinking about what's half full and what's half empty, let's think about how your mindset is going to affect these glasses. You see, one mindset is going to look ahead at the potential recession we're facing coming in this year of 2023 and think, oh no, I'm going to get hurt. I'm going to lose money in my 401k. I'm going to lose money in my stock market accounts. I, I better not buy a house because the real estate market's falling. It's not a good time to invest. Ah, that is a mindset of fear. The other mindset says, hey, things are about to get cheaper. It's going to be a great opportunity to buy. It's going to be a great opportunity to invest. Let's see how those two mindsets compare. A mindset of fear is one that's filled with excuses. You know, excuses, those are the things you make to justify your lack of personal action. An excuse is something like, oh, I'm just not smart enough to invest. I'm just not as good as other people. I, I, just don't, I, I just don't know how I'm supposed to do this. An excuse is something like, oh, you know, I, I'm afraid I wouldn't do it because I might lose money. Investing in that is not a good idea because it's a down market. These are all excuses. Well, an excuse is like this cold, hard block of ice. If I take this cold, hard excuse and I put it in my glass, what happens to that glass? All of a sudden, the water level completely changes. In fact, it rises. Now I can't fit much more in my glass at all. What happens if I add a second excuse? The glass is suddenly even fuller. Now, if I were to add another excuse to this glass, what's going to happen? This glass would overflow. That means those excuses would not only prevent me from being able to obtain more, they would cause me to lose some of what I've already got. That is a negative mindset, and that is one that will keep you from moving ahead and gaining wealth and prosperity in the coming year of 2023. On the other hand, if you've got hope, like this little plastic ball, this is hope. Hope floats. So if I put hope in this other glass, notice what happens to my water level. It stays about the same. It's still only half full. I still have room to add stuff. And if I were to add stuff and fill up this glass, this ball would continue to float. Watch this. And as the ball continues to float, my glass is able to take on more and more, and I don't lose anything from what I've got. In fact, hope enables me to obtain more and still have hope for the future. So the choice is yours. You can use negative, cold, hard excuses that will cause your glass to overflow, spilling what you've already got. Or you can use hope that leaves plenty of room for you to be able to add more in this coming season of opportunity. This is something to think about as we look ahead into the year 2023. Look for the opportunities. Don't look for the disappointments. And if you have the right perspective, then you'll gain in influence, you'll gain in wisdom, you'll gain in prosperity, and you'll gain in wealth, all because you developed the right perspective. I'm Troy with IGC. I want to wish you a happy and a prosperous new year, and I hope you can take this lesson and apply hope to your life so that you can grow and be prosperous and successful.